Hello, everybody, and welcome to TXP3, presented to you by St. Clair. I'm Matthias, also known as Matthias. I'm joined by Colin, also known as Seymour. Yeah, what's going on? I mean, back on the <laughs> stomping grounds, it's been a it's been a long time since I've been at the the St. Clair home, but I'm happy to be back here. TXP three, yeah, it's not in Toronto, but you know, <laughs> TXP is TXP no matter where it goes, and we got a fun fun weekend of action. Lots of teams signed up, lots of locals, lots of Canadian veterans that have been around the scene for a very long time. So this is going to be a weekend jam-packed of a lot of Call of Duty that I'm really excited to see. Yeah, me too. And you're not just the only former Saint returning here. We see a lot of familiar faces coming back, especially for this tournament and maybe even in the upcoming matches. But let's just run through the format of how things are going to be going today. We're going to have five rounds of best of three to start things off. We'll be finishing off with a winners and losers round, which is going to be a best of five later on in the day. Yeah, it's a it's a I'd say a longer day. I think the best mm -hmm. of threes are going to make it kind of streamline right towards the end, so it's not going to be as prolonged as those best of fives are going to get on a Sunday. But lots of caught for sure, and lots of players returning. Lots of players, you know, around the scene, challengers, players. Lots of uh, uh, I'd say lots of members in the Call of Duty scene that I think are going to be making some runs today, even against that St. Clair team. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of good talent that showed up. And uh, for a couple of these best of three rounds, it is going to be that round robin play heading into the bracket. So there is a good chance that we see some upsets in best of threes. I mean, considering you're cutting away two maps, uh, best of three, it's only going to be hard point search control. So if you can be a team that can maybe take one of those respawns early on, you're good in the S&Ds. Potential for a 2-0 right away for your pools and you know sneaking into the bracket play with a higher seed that is definitely going to set you up for a good Sunday. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to start things off strong, go for that blitz play, pull out all the tricks right away, try and get the edge on your opponent because you're not going to have that chance to try and formulate a big counter play, really feel at your opponents. You're just going to be going in, going full force and try and get those wins as soon as possible. But what are going to be our first two teams here today? Well, we got uh, Nutty playing up against, I'm pretty sure it was Vibe Tribe. Yeah, Vibe what a Tribe. name coming out here. <laughs> Nutty versus Vibe Tribe. So um, two teams that I'm sure you and I were going to be taking mm -hmm. some time to learn some of these members, their tendencies, how they're going to be playing today. But on the side of Nutty, um, when you were mentioning, you know, former Saints members, mm -hmm. White Tiger, a member who, you know, I, I used to play on the Call of Duty team <laughs> all the way back in Modern Warfare 2019 with them. So it, it's nice to see a former face uh, who used to be in the esports program here at St. Clair returning back to now a stage that he didn't even get to play on. I, you know, when we were here, <laughs> we didn't get this. But now sitting on the main stage, looking to have a good time, starting off with a a good map set as well. We got for the best of three, six star hard point, invasion, search and destroy, and then an invasion control if we do go to that map number three. You know, just as a reminder for people, I mean, best of threes, we might not get to see that map number three. It could be a 2 0 sweep for all we know, but that's six star to start things off, Matthias. I mean, we were talking earlier, mm -hmm. things have changed here for Definitely. six stars since, you know, we've recently seen it and towards major three. It's only six or four hard points rather than five hard points. They took out a whole hill, they changed things around. And now it's going to be a little bit more mixier for these teams. Yeah, just running it through on the side of Nutty, we have OBJ, Tiger, Gutty, and Dino Neo. And we already got two kills coming out on the side of Vive Trap. That's going to be J Bon and Eris getting a couple kills there. It's already an explosive start. And you can see that the side of uh, Nutty on our red team are going to be spawning onto the more preferred side for that P2 rotation. So one thing that's on their mind, even if they're not getting <laughs> wow. a lot of this time right in this first hill, that is fine. They want to make sure that they keep these spawns. Watch for anybody trying to get in behind. Cut off those members and hold the respawns. But unfortunately, Jay Payan is going to hit the route. He's 4-1 and one to kick things off three in a row. He has a chance to really shake up these respawns. Yeah, absolutely amazing start for Vive Tribe. But it looks like he got caught out, but he still got the trade there. Dino Neo going to have to get that one out. But so far, Sauce on the side, leading the charge, not staying on the side for too long. No, Maz, looking for the break here. Nice first kill, transitions to the second, not able to get the two. And it's still gonna be nutty inside of this hard point, soaking up some much needed time after getting zero on that first hill. They have the spawns in the back. Now they can set up in those power positions and keep the side of Vibe Tribe away from this hill. Yeah, they're keeping them away, doing a real good job of this one, taking this one back. Now, Nutty in a really good position, taking the pool, getting one as well. He's going to wrap around, has to go for the reload. It's pretty low, and it gets taken out by OBJ. Gets a double through the wall as well, but Eris going to shut that one down with double yeah. of zone. 
It's breaking the front. Fantastic for Vibe Trap to hold this lead. Tiger's going to take one last swing at it. Expects a player to the right, but easy trade there for Sauce on the side. And you can take a look at those blue arrows now all the way onto the left side of the mini-map. They're focusing on the P3's rotation as well with this lead. And that's a scary thing if you're nutty because now you're going to have to play for these players in the back. You have a member trying to make that happen. And already Vibe Tribe, they're going to be watching it. Unfortunately, Tiger finds his way through. Now it's going to be a trade fest. I was trading back and forth, but look at Cuddy getting a double kill out of nowhere. And now, probably secure this point for the team, but Sauce on the side, gonna lead the charge. Not gonna stay on the sideline for long. Once again, defending this point, getting another kill, being the stalwart soldier. Last one standing with OBJ, gonna knock that one down. But his teammate is down in here, going in, getting a double with his team, Maz. And now it's gonna be them. Securing the hard point, Sauce on the side getting another kill on top of that. It is almost a picture perfect break there for Nutty. They got into the back, they flipped those spawns, they just couldn't hold off the second wave of kills there. Vibe Tribe so good on the wow. reach breaks, and once they get comfortable in these power positions, you can start to see the kills starting to snowball in their favor. They're still spawning Nutty all the way to the other side of the map, and this lead is growing. So now, if you're Nutty, you're kind of forced in this position of do we want to hit this hill one more time? We kind of need to stop Vibe Tribe from growing this lead, and we need to start focusing on. On these rotations at the same time. So there's a lot on the minds of these nutty players as Tiger. He's going to soak up this scrap time for seven seconds and everybody has to start looking towards new, which is going to be the bottom side of the minimap. Yeah, but his trades coming out on both sides there. One player down on both sides, but it looks like Vibe Tribe's going to have the better rotation here. They're doing a very good job. Eris holding it down with the rest of his team. And once again, going to get even further into the lead here. Another trade coming out from Tiger, but look, gets traded right back by Moz. This is absolutely insane, but it's always more blue in the kill feed from what we see. It is. Eris, good be caught there on the wide swing still sauce on the side dominating here 15 and 4 with that mcw renetti in hand looking for the finisher but jay pine over the top that's going to be a quick four again <laughs> now vibe tribe 122 and counting still a lot of time on this hill number four to grow this lead even further and they have cruise missiles as well on some of these members so this is where things are going to start flowing in the side of vibe tribe their lead it just continues to stack up. Yeah, they are just utterly dominating right now, getting kill after kill after kill. And Nutty is just having trouble finding some footing here. But this might be their chance going around the corner. But such good positioning. Vibe Tribe is going to take that one. And look at that. Three kills by the team members once again. And there's the fourth. Yeah, it's just such good... Uh, a very practiced Call of Duty right now from this Vibe Tribe. Everybody is doing what they need to do, pushing the map, not getting too aggressive, not getting overzealous in positions, and you know playing this objective to a T. Sauce on the side too. I mean, it helps when you have a player 19 and five on another forestry <laughs> with that cruise missile. So Sauce might be looking to use it here just in case he doubles up on that kill streak. But he slides out easy pick up there. That's number 20. Gonna get any more? Yes, wow. he can. Almost with the Renetti. There Eris coming in to sweep up the rest. Vibe try back in towards P1. Their lead stacking up. Yeah, Harris also leading the charge there. Everybody on this team doing work. I mean, just look at the scoreboard. Even Maz might not be getting as many kills, but he has the most objective time here. Everyone's doing their part here. But now we're going to look over at Maz. He's on the prowl. He's a trophy system. Sees the kill and gets it around the corner. Going for the reload. They're looking for that next hard point. No one go for the trash time. It's just an all stalemate right now. Tiger looking for the kill. Gets it, but gets taken out by Eris. Yeah, and that's a flip that you just cannot have happen if you're nutty so quickly on. You're only stuck at 42 seconds, and you need to get some time on your belt. And it is just such a losing battle when you're fighting from the less preferred side of these hills. And again, you're trying to break from the front. These MCWs just are not missing. <laughs> 24 and 6 now for Sauce on the side. Still with that cruise missile, just in case they're late to a rotation. But the way that things are going, you don't need that kill streak. So far, the Vibe Tribe, I mean, the vibes are high, as high as you can ask. Exactly, and the points are getting as high as they can go as it were up here. Only one more hard point or so away for Vibe Tribe, and Nutty needs to get their head in the game here. Maz securing the kills and watching every corner. They're 20 points away. They're not going to go for that scrap, and they're going to give it up to Nutty because they're still 200 points ahead by the end of this hard point. Even scrap time, it's not going to be your recipe to success here. If you're nutty, you're going to need to go big, and you're going to have to make a monumental comeback here. Jay Bion, though, winning the fights inside the hill. 20 seconds needed 
for the Vibe Tribe to put map one in the history books. Dino with a big win for spawns. Oh. Here's the cruise missile from Eris. Still another one for Sauce if need be, but Maz now pushing into the spawns of Nutty, finding those kills. Gutty's alone. Now he's dead. And with Vibe Tribe in the hill, this is their chance to put it away. Yeah, it's a last second contest on the line right now. Someone needs to hop on the point, but it looks like Vibe Tribe just has this one locked down. Sauce on the side getting a kill through the wall. Now Gut, he's going in. Go the double. This is the chance. He saves it at the last second. One point remaining. Tiger's going in as well. This might be Nutty's last chance. They need to play perfectly from here on out. And it's just possible. They still have it as an option here. But the trades are coming out. Vibe Tribe is coming back with a vengeance. They just need one second on this point. Last one remaining. That's going to be it. They have control and they take the game. Vibe Tribe winning the first game. And TXP3, we kick things off with the 100 <laughs> point club in the hard point. Vibe Tribe on top. And they look good. The fundamentals, the, the players, the individual skill that we're seeing from this team just snowballing into an area where they look undeniable on the map. 250 to 70 <laughs> at the end of map number one. And if there's anybody to thank there, it's uh, Sauce on the side, exactly. 28 and 9. I mean, I don't even, I, I'm not, I'm a caster here. I'm not going to do the quick <laughs> caster math on, you know, what the kill death ratio for that was, but it's a lot and so, it's good. I mean, you couldn't ask good, for a better good. performance. Yeah, you couldn't ask for better performance. You also had like the second most objective time out of anybody on the team as well. Second was Maz, you know, a little less kills, but still being the stalwart of uh, uh, soldier there getting all the time oh, yeah. they getting those points and you know you can't win if you don't have that hard point so everybody played an amazing role on that vibe tribe team they're just vibing exactly that's what i was saying it's just everybody was doing exactly what they needed to do to get the dub at the end of the day and i you know when you have a player like sauce on the side who can you know win those fights inside of the hard point i mean that is a, a rare occasion which is going to lead into those 100 point clubs when he's doing everything for the team and then you have a player like eris who can run those routes you know if sauce does go down Eris is there to shoot the enemies in the back and getting into that hard point for the rest of the time everything towards the end it just seemed like scrap time uh, after scrap time for the side of Nutty and that's going to take us into towards our search and destroy our map number two now and it's a must win for Nutty in this best of three because you know you don't get that chance of going into the control you don't get that chance of a potential reverse sweep in a best of five uh, it's you step up in the search and destroy or you're looking at your next round robin matchup and I'm sure you know nobody wants to start their day off with a loss no. yeah it's really hard when you start off on a loss you, know, you lose that momentum but you know it's interesting though. COD's very interesting because you start off with a very hectic respawn mode and then you instantly go into that search and store very slower pace a lot of the time depending on how they play it. But I still think if I had to give take a guess, I would give the advantage to Vibe Trap just because they seem to. very tactical in how they played those respawn game modes. It was just perfect the way that they played that respawn against Nutty, and Nutty didn't have an answer. And when you go into a game mode like Search and Destroy, where you need that, you know, you need that knowledge depth, you need that chance to kind of dig deep into, you know, your strap book and try to figure out a way to break through your opposition. You didn't get that on the hard point. There was no time where you really saw Nutty made those changes to lock down those spawns, hold the rotation, make sure you're keeping your head in the game for staying proactive, staying ahead of your opponents. And into a search and destroy, you need that considering you don't really have a chance to go to the next hill and get that second chance. You die in the round and that's, you know, the round out of your hands. Really, you're kind of throwing it to your teammates to hopefully make a magical play to clutch up. And I think for Nutty, one thing you need to see from them is a little bit more depth in their play style. Show that they have the adaptations needed to work around this vibe tribe. Try to figure out a way to really complicate some of these rounds. Make them fight for some of these kills rather than just giving them away. And uh, I think, you know, if there's anywhere you're you want to go to make it a little bit more difficult to fish for those kills and get those early first bloods you're going to an invasion which is a map where you can play those tight corners where you can really hide on the map and make those kills tr uh, a tricky so i think for nutty you're going to a really good map number two it's been around since mw 2009 <laughs> yeah. uh, you know your way around invasion so i'm hoping they can bounce back yeah i think this map might play a little bit more to their strengths because they were playing a little bit more sneaky, trying to get those kind of corner shots off. But it didn't quite work with how open that last map was at times on those certain hard points. So going to the next map, I think Nutty does have a better chance than they do on uh, that last hard point. But going over to search and destroy, you know, if you get the kill on those big carries like Sauce on the side, it's going to be a lot easier for your team to compete with that, right? Oh, yeah. It's still going to be tough because all of them had very good score lines, but, you know, 
it's pretty obvious that Sauce on the side was just utterly dominating that match. You need to shut him down. You <laughs> exactly. need to shut him down in map number two, or else you're probably going to face in the same demise as map number one. And I think that is definitely a big focus off those first bloods for Search and Destroy. Who's going to be that player for Nutty to step up? I think, you know, like you were saying, you saw some moments where Tiger was running routes. Mm -hmm. He was trying to hit some flanks and try to catch some players un, uh, kind of unnoticing of those routes being run, but it didn't pay off in the long run for the rest of the team to time that right, to work with Tiger, to make that play really establish an advantage inside of those rounds. So in the search and destroy, I mean, you just look at them you just, on stage, focused, talking to each other, communicating on how they're going to get around the Vibe Tribe here. And so starting off, they're going to be on the defensive side of Invasion. So let's see if they can start this with a round win. Yeah, Vibe Tribe going to be the one to set the pace to start things off here on the attack. We see Sauce on the side peeking this one. And Oz getting one already to start things off on Gutty. That's going to be a major hit to Nutty. And now... Looks like they're eyeing this B site, but they're still taking it slow, taking it through the center, getting a lot of space. That's J Bide. First plot on the Tiger. Yeah, Opening up down. this B lane Ooh. a little bit more. You have a lot of pressure over towards A as well with the bomb looking to get planted early. See if you can flip things on a dime for Nutty. Oh, it's nice shots there. Obajaya gets caught in the rotation. Now it's Dino Neal all alone in a 1v4. He's going to find the first there on Demaz, but so far disconnected Ooh. from this play. The stun's going to slow it down. He's only got 33 seconds to find these kills. And already Vibe Tribe there hunting for it. That's going to be the wow. kill. That's going to be the round. And now we just have to see the defense from Vibe Tribe to really see how this is going to be going. But so far, if I was a betting man, I would bet on the Vibe Tribe. Eris getting that last kill as well. They've just been playing so clean and so patiently. You can really tell that they're not too nervous in this match. Exactly. They're very confident. It's, and that's what you need to see from a team, especially earlier on in the day. You know, you don't want to, you know, wake up in the morning, be a little bit cold. You want to make sure you're showing up to your round one match and you're making it look comfortable, confident here in Vibe Tribe. They're checking all the boxes of those criteria. So after round one, putting Nutty into a 1v4. Maz is looking to get aggressive on the defense as well. He's going to be shot up. Tiger catching him. On that aggressive play, it's first blood for Nutty. Now you have to look at them to slow down, not give this advantage away. Almost sauce equalizing, but Nutty's still in the 4v3. It's still in the 4v3. They're really trying to make it down this wide left lane here over on A. Now it's a big long range gunfight. Eris almost gets it and he gets it now. Wow, double kills on the side of Vibe Trap. They have the Boy. advantage once again. And Bomb is down. And Nutty is split. They're away from the bomb now, and they need to cross this no man's land to be able to get this one. And now Jay Bond just fishing over towards top broken, as well as blue. Catching a player all the way over towards the bus stop. So those shots looking crisp for Jay Bion. 3v2, 30 seconds left, and Bomb is down over towards the A side. Both members of Nutty completely disconnected from each other. So not only lives here for Vibe Tribe, but also the chances to wow. trade. And yep. that's exactly what they're going to do. So two quick rounds there from Vibe Tribe, even losing that first blood onto Maz, getting caught through the middle of the map. They're able to turn things around in their favor and put it away. Yeah, they put that one away back on the shelf. And now Vibe Tribe looking at very good so far, but I'm really curious to see if they'll be able to keep this up, you know. That's what we see in Search and Destroy, you know, you use your best methods first, and then you're going to have to switch it up as people start to adapt, but yeah. I'm just wondering how Nutty can adapt to this, because Vibe Trap has been looking absolutely impeccable, at least on the attack so far. Whether it's down to the nades, the stuns, any sort of information you can get, something for Nutty. Yeah, to try to adapt to the success of Vibe Tribe. My, my stun doesn't actually connect on anybody through mid, so there's no info on the two players who are stacked up there. They're going to be leaning over towards this B-side, Matthias, and the only person here is going to be Dino Neo. He didn't get contested last time. He was stuck in the 1v4. Tiger goes down through dark, and now it's Dino Neo on an island to go big. Yeah, let's go big or go home right now. Maz getting a kill there. Throwing out the nade, trying to slow him down. Not ready for the gunfight as Gutty just walks up and takes him out. And now Sauce on the side. Sees the bomb planted. Needs to take this one slow. He sees the trophy system. He's a little bit wary. Now OBJ on 
this other side here creeping on and needs the defuse it's a 2v3 not impossible but they need to get a kill and a fast this is only 30 seconds and time is ticking but Moz gets one it's a 1v3 situation for Gutty he's gonna have to go for these Gutty plays here gets one does not get the other and Bob Trop now taking this half it's a tough situation once OBJ, OBJ goes down on the cross towards Broken Putting Gutty in a 1v3. I mean, he's got the rival 9. He's seen the gun do some crazy things, but with the time limited and the fact that Sauce on the side was just big chilling all the way over towards that bus stop. Hey, that was the round in the bag there for three rounds in a row from the Vibe Tribe. Again, just dominating when it comes down to these opening picks. And Tiger getting thro thro killed through Dark there. I'm not sure what the call was. No stuns to kind of check that and help him out. Really putting the team in a tough situation. Dino Neo needs that player to stay alive next time they're on defense. Wow. And they will get another chance, luckily. But hoping for a round win here on the attack. A heavy stack onto the B lane here. But for the defensive side, they're going to meet that there. They got two players watching over towards Broken. A player on the P2 tank. A player inside Broken. And someone through mid who can help through dark on a dime. So Tiger's going to be the one to try to make this move. Wow, go for the window shots. JBN getting one, and now holding this tank position. He's gonna have to back up to reload as he sends one out. JBN going on the prowl through this building, trying to get some kills here. We see a major gunfight, but no one falls. Seems like Sauce on the side, though, gets one across the map, getting the stragglers, and now they push the bomb way back into spawn. They're continuing to hunt them down one by one, like a hawk going on the prowl, getting going from behind, getting one. To, and gets out, surprisingly. Dino's going to be able to trade it, but 1v4 again for Dino. Just cannot catch a break. Couple kills here. Will it be enough? 2 HP? No, it won't. And that's four in a row for the Vibe Tribe, who again, just putting on a clinic here in round one of our day. First round here in TXP3. And they're not looking back whatsoever. Sauce on the side again. Another great map going on here. A little quieter because, you know, you've been seeing a lot more out of the, the rest of the team really stepping up in their individual roles, especially for these first bloods. But when it comes to the cleanup game, Sauce on the side, he's there with that MCW to finish off these rounds. Now Nutty backed up against the wall. 4-0 down. And OBJ, I hope that is just the Codcaster and that is not an actual donut there that I'm seeing. Yeah. It has not been good sights here for Team Nutty. Gutty, we're going to make a play through mid. And he's going to actually have some help here. Tiger there with Gutty, wow. but Sauce is a rifle. And he's picking them apart. That's six in a row for Sauce. A team, a team kill, kill from OBJ. No. And things are falling apart on the main stage. You know, when you get so... <laughs> so anxious, you know, waiting for these things to happen. The team kill comes out of nowhere in those stressful, stressful situations and just disaster happens. And now it's do or die. You need to do what this team has done to you. You need to be flawless, perfect, all the way to the end. Try and bring it back. But without any rounds on the board, it's going to be a nigh impossible task. But I'm here to see it. I'm here to see Nutty lock in, try their darndest to try and make this one work. You at least want to get around here, but looks like we might have a disconnect as Nutty now is down a player. Jay Bayan again running these routes. Nice shots there. Can't clean it up with the Renetti. Nutty's going to be able to trade things into a three on two. Trying to hold their life though as the pressure is mounting. Vibe Tribe flipping the map here. They have him trapped. And there's nowhere to go. They have to shoot their way through it. Two members over towards blue. A player up top. A player down low. But Maz, he's got the timing his way. But he's oh. not going to find the kill. A team kill this oh, time. It's Aerie the finding it. Sauce is still going to keep that advantage. 1v2 for Gutty. No rounds for Nutty. Vibe Tribe with the complete sweep. A 2-0 in this best of three, 6-0 in the search, a 100-point club in the hard point. That is one heck of a way to start your day. Exactly. Vibe Tribe on the vibes here, and the vibes are good. Sauce on the side continuing to dominate in every game mode we've seen so far. He's definitely a star player to look out for, at least on that team. And now, going forward... You're really going to have to try and rally here if you're Team Nutty. You don't want to take this loss too heavy. You still have more rounds ahead of you. And you want to try and lock back in here.
It's day one. You mm-hmm. got to shake it off. It's round round robin still. This isn't the bracket. Mm-hmm. You're not eliminated just yet. You bounce back in game number two. Talk amongst your team. Where can things get better? I mean, you have a lot to talk about right now after the the performance that we saw in that uh, in that series, really. So uh, hopefully Nutty can bounce back in the rest of the round robins. Maybe sneak away into bracket play with a, a, a better seed than what it looks like we're getting. But for the other side, I mean, we got to talk about <laughs> yeah, the vibes. We have to, we have because to. Because not only <laughs> are they called the Vibe Tribe, Matthias, but they're bringing the vibes here towards the desk. 250 to 70 in the hard point. 6-0 in the search and destroy. I was a little bit worried seeing a six-star right off the bat, but yeah. I mean, six-star... <laughs> It, it changed in last season. I mean, it's been around with the Four Hills. They they know how to play it. It seems like they're very educated on how to play that map mode combo. And they looked absolutely fantastic. I really like what I'm seeing out of Ares and Sauce on the side. Mm-hmm. I think the two of them are really mixing well when it comes down to the timings between AR and Sub. You got Moz as well, really putting up some numbers here in the, the secondary sub role. And all together, I think this Vibe Tribe team really coming out and showing me that they have what it takes here at TXP3. Yeah, and one thing I want to mention about Vibe Tribe is they just had this team cohesion, you know? Of course, Everybody yeah. was watching each other's back. They rotated. Of course, near the end of there, we had a really weird team kill, and that last round was like it one happens. bullet through the window, hit a leg at one HP, but, you know, that stuff happens, but... They just had so much synergy going forward. It was just an amazing watch so far. Even if some of them didn't have the highest uh, kill counts, they were always doing something to help the team no matter what. Yeah, and you love to see that for Vibe Tribe. I think for the rest of the day here, I'm not really sure what our second match is looking like. It's Pen, uh, Penjol, Penjol Day. Yeah, Penjol Day versus oh, GG that. Supernova is going to be our next match. But we're going to have a little bit of a switch up on the casters. We have other casters on the desk here today. The next up-and-coming caster is going to be Zarin, uh, coach of the COD team at St. Clair, and Daniil. But uh, we'll see how things end up shaking up. That's just the rough draft we have written out. Yeah, rough <laughs> draft for sure. So seems like we're going to be taking a quick little break when we get things set up and switching on the desk here when we come back. TXP3 all day long, all weekend long here at St. Clair College in the heart of Windsor, Ontario. You don't want to miss it, folks. It's going to be a great time. We'll see you on the other side.